Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey, hey, you guys. Um, this video is for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. So before I get started, if you feel like what I'm saying in this video isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your Moon and or Rising sign, which I do have linked down in the description box below, okay? Um, this is not the typical lunar cycle tarot forecast. This is actually a little bonus. This is your vernal equinox reading, so your spring season reading. And we are talking uh, end of March, April, May, most of June. <laughs> so that's going to be Aries, Taurus, and Gemini lunar cycles. Um, and I've got all of that stuff linked down at the bottom, okay, guys? Um, this is going to be a quick little two-card spread for you. You're going to be looking at the energy popping up for you guys during this lunar si uh, I'm sorry, during this season, and then also going to be looking at a quick little soul message, something additional for you to take away with you from this reading, okay? So let's go on and just hop right into it, Taurus. Um, so it's lit. <laughs> the energy popping up for you guys during these next few months, you have the magician coming up here, and I really like seeing this card because this card resonates with the energy of getting shit done, of actually getting shit started, so... Um, with this popping, okay, can you, all right, <laughs> with this card popping up there, I do pick up on the energy that a lot of you are coming into new cycles, new beginnings, you do have your birthday during the springtime, so this is very much so a new chapter for you, but I, I feel like for some of you, um, coming out of the winter season, you either may have, like, uh, gotten a promotion or come into like a new relationship or move to a new space or like a new state or something um so you're you're in a new beginning or these things are getting ready to pop off for you however the energy popping up for you and coming in for you over these next few months is just very much so the energy of get her done get it started um the magician is all about harvesting all of the elements so the qualities associated with the water and the emotional element and the emotional intelligence and balance, the qualities associated with air and of intellect and of also clarity and the qualities associated with earth of stability and of, um, you know, physical abundance and also the qualities associated with fire, which is drive and motivation and action. The magician card popping up here is saying that Taurus, during this season, you really have all of the energies that you need to whatever it is that you want to get done, whatever seeds you want to plant, whatever plans you want to see play out and you guys are earth and you're good at setting up plans this is the time to get it done the start of your year is really the time to start new things new beginnings so you can see them cultivate and play out over the next year for you and we are um under the spring season uh starting up a new astrological year as well so a lot of fresh new rejuvenative energy coming in for you all right is that a word i hope it is because i'm a writer i hope i didn't just make that up um, it's really positive energy. I'm actually really happy to see this card for you here. I don't have anything negative to say about it. Um, I'm trying to, when I do my readings, I like in my head ask, is there anything, any warnings, anything? I'm just drawing a blank for it. So really good energy popping in for you. You will have the drive and the fire that you need to get whatever you have to get done, done. Um, and try to apply this magician energy in the ways that it needs to be applied. So with that being said, make sure that you are exerting and exuding your energy in a balanced way so that you're not wearing yourself out, okay? Um, the next and last card that I have coming up for you in your spread, Taurus, is magic. And this is coming up in the position of your soul message. Um, and with this particular... Particular? With this... <laughs> oh, guys. With this particular deck... <laughs> The meaning associated with this card is literally you have the magic, you have the gifts, figure out what it is that you truly resonate with. And it is also to be mindful and to be very careful and protect yourself and protect your spirit as you are exploring and learning and unwrapping and unraveling your gifts, okay? So with this card coming up here, Taurus, the message that I have for you is um, because you have this magician energy, especially if you're a spiritual being, and most people who watch tarot cards are, uh, who, 
Lord, why can't I talk? Most people who watch tarot readings or get tarot readings or any kind of reading typically are spiritual beings. Everybody's a spiritual being, but I mean more so into the shits. Um, where was I going with that? I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I don't know, but what I do want to say with this card is... You're coming into your gifts. You are unwrapping more gifts, probably discovering more gifts during this, uh, I keep wanting to say lunar season, during this um, spring season. So just be very mindful and also pay attention to what really works for you. Some things are not gonna work for you. Some things will be very good for you and it is up to you to follow your intuition. You have the magic, you have the gifts. So it's up to you to resonate with your divinity and say, okay, maybe this is not for me. Maybe you're not stones, but you're all about, you know, herbs maybe you're not a tarot card reader but you're all about yoga you know what i mean things of that sort so just be very mindful with your magic and don't try to do things that you don't have a calling to and i don't want you guys to feel bad about that just certain things are not for you and certain things are that is the message coming up with this card this is also to say as you are discovering these things it is very natural that you will try different things you might be reading about different like rituals or reading about different like herbs and stuff be very careful always protect yourself when you're doing anything spiritual and you can everybody has different protection rituals i surround myself with white light i call on archangels i carry protection stones with me when i do readings and things of that sort i you know this is a black onyx pyramid i had it in all of my readings i also sit my labradorite ball on a piece of hematite you know i have smoky quartz in my reading you know certain things work for different strokes for different folks basically so just make sure you are protecting yourself in whichever way works for you um, because this is a very magical time for you and when you have this energy resonating with you you're open to higher vibrating energies but you're also open to lower vibrating energy so just be very careful be very mindful of the people that you mix and mingle with be very mindful of the people that you are allowing to tap into your energy if you are somebody that gets a lot of readings um just because somebody says they do something or just because somebody you know works at a certain place does not always mean that they really got the juice neptune just went direct well not just but neptune is now direct and it is in pisces and so there's a lot of Ooh, and ah, and there's a fad and this hype beast energy around spirituality. Like, there's a Tommy Hilfiger astrology collection coming out, I believe, right now. Um, I saw a tweet on the internet the other day talking about, you know, the best signs and the best signs and sex, and it was really wrong because <laughs> I don't mean this in the wrong way, but Aquarius was at the top of the list, and I'm just like, no, everybody knows it's Leo or Scorpio. Like, that is that not common knowledge? And then I'm like, but your sex game is really more so, you know, you you attribute that to your Venus and your Mars, Mars sign. But uh, anyway, so that, that energy, I'm ranting, that energy is very much so prominent and present right now. So just be mindful of who you're mixing and mingling and mixing your magic with, okay? But other than that, this is a very magical time for you. You got the magician and the magic card. That's what's up. That's popping. Um, okay, Taurus, I hope that that provided you with some insight for this next couple of months. If you have any questions or you'd like more clarification or you'd like your own personal reading, please feel free to book one with me. I've got my Etsy shop linked down below. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.